the Blue Jays have had a lot of great prospects in the past, but now it's time to look to their future. He's come onto the scene. Nobody expected him to be great. He's turned into a superstar. He's an, uh, an elite prospect for the Blue Jays. I always knew that baseball was the goal. Baseball players are judged by their ability to hit a ball. The purity, the precision, it's how the scouts define talent. And there are other components, determination, discipline, temperament. Riley Adams seems to personify them all. Kind of anything he did, he was successful. And he also had those sort of intangibles, like a real competitive uh, spirit, um, always interested in being the best he can be at almost anything he pursued. Success can be a combination of timing and chemistry. In Adam's case, that can be taken literally. Seventh and eighth grade, our school always did science fair. Uh, you know, I did, had two different projects that were a little interesting and uh, they were kind of fun. It was a little different to get out of my comfort zone and uh, try something new. One of the ones he did was the pampas grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, pampas grass is an invasive plant in, in Southern California and uh, he was trying to look at ways of getting rid of it. You know, from spraying vinegar on it or doing dry ice to try to freeze it out or different things like that. So it was a, it was a very interesting project for sure. He um, analyzes things whether he's watching professional players, um, breaking down swings, breaking down pitches, breaking down catching positions. That analytical mind helped to make a decision that would prove pivotal to his future in baseball. I was a shortstop my entire life. Uh, going into high school, stayed at shortstop, and then uh, after my freshman year, uh, our varsity team didn't even have a catcher, so our coach came up to me and asked me if I wanted to do it. You know, at first it was a little uh, um, unusual and different, and um, but then he loved being involved in every play, having that ball in his hands all the time, being that coach on the field, um, helping the team to be aligned, and you know, he's the only player that can see all the other players that are there, and so he really grew to love the leadership aspect of, of being a catcher. Can you have envisioned being such a high pick if you had stayed at short? Probably not, no, I don't think so. Adams refined his skills, and by 2014, he was considered one of the top catching prospects in the United States. The Cubs selected him in the 37th round, but he decided to go to college instead. He was very torn. The, the whole process of being drafted, I think, is, uh, you know, the kids, that is a lot of pressure for them on a early, very early age. The determination to succeed, the temperament to accept a new challenge, and the discipline to wait for the right moment, those, in addition to his ability to hit a baseball, convinced the Blue Jays to take Adams in the third round of the 2017 draft. We were really excited when, when they called his name, but it was you know, an emotional challenge, if you will, because as every pick goes by, you think, oh, they really like me, and oh, okay, they didn't like me that much, and well, they, they no, 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 okay, and well, hey, you know what, Toronto wanted me, I'm, I'm all in. One thing about Riley is he's a, he's a quiet leader, but a very stable, stable presence back there behind the plate. Um, he takes his leadership of the pitching staff seriously. Um, defensively, he's got all the skills to, to stay there. Um, and then he can hurt you in, in, in a lot of ways because he's, he's a solid offensive player as well. And he's a, he's a high character, um, true leader. He's a hardworking kid that'll do whatever it takes to be successful. You know, I've, I've seen his hands bleed in the batting cage because he just wants to hit and hit and hit and hit and hit. Um, and, and, you know, so it's paid off. It's, it's uh, um, driven him to where he is and, and we'll see where it goes. Have you ever thought about what it would feel like to get that phone call saying he's been promoted to the Blue Jays? He has it in his mind. He knows that he'll, he'll be there. Uh, you know, we'll do the right things to get there. I think it'll be very exciting. Very, very exciting. I hope I'm on the golf course when that call <laughs> happens because that'll mean I'm out having fun. And <laughs> we'll uh, finish 18 and get on a plane or wherever we need to go and, and again, support him. You know, the fulfillment of a dream and whatever uh, um, occupation anyone might pursue is is, you know, a magical moment.